I'm going to show you the um, layer texture node. Okay, uh, first thing in here, I want to create two uh, textures that will blend together on top of this sphere. So I'm going to right click in here and type Y on, on here. And I'll do one more one, type Y. Okay, I got two fonts. So I'll go in here, the first one. I choose um, blue, from my thing. And here, this I choose um, yellow. All right. So next in here, I need to get a material. So I'm going to do a balloon. And if I connect this out color to this, you see it turns blue. And I do this out color, it turns yellow. So what we need to do is use this layer texture to blend them together. So click this, and a little space. Uh, this one here only has one, so we'll do one more. So take this here and drop it right here, and select this end one. The green means it's not doesn't have a texture on it. So grab this and. Okay, and now we take this out color, connect to color, and um, so just like to sphere, and, and oop, there we go. So now we have uh, see two colors blend together, and if you see here, I goes to yellow, turn, turn to yellow, turns to blue, uh, and uh, to update this, you need to just hit this. Okay, so now, um, if you see here, this has a little, um, a layer texture node check of work when we can add a uh, ramp to it. So basically we're going to have the blue and yellow go up and down like this or diagonal across. So I have to put this back here so it will be blue as on top. So uh, right here now we will choose and let's choose a ramp. You can see now the blue is on top and the yellow is on the bottom. So you could adjust this. I'm stop this. Yeah, you can see that now. It's working pretty good. And uh, we could go like this and add maybe a traditional black. And you can see now it has a white band, blue band in the middle down there. Um, we could also do, suppose we don't do a ramp, we could delete this and select this. And maybe we would do a checkerboard. And now you can see it has a checkerboard across it. And, you know, we could, you know, we can rotate around like this as well. Do that. Okay, and that is how you use a layered texture node in Maya.